student wishing to enter this fantastic industry, what other skills do they need? I mean, besides a good education, uh, experience, the technology. Well, I'm sure you've heard that while intellectual quotient is critically important, the emotional quotient, EQ, is more important than IQ. The ability to get along with people, the ability to work in a multicultural environment, and therefore having multiple languages, you know, the ability to communicate, French, German, Spanish, Mandarin, Chinese, is going to be critically important. And another type of communications is technology. The ability to be able to produce a five-minute movie for the Internet. The ability to evaluate an event using technology on the Internet. The ability to source a conference center or hotel using a software such as Meeting Matrix. Uh, all of this is going to be critically important. But I would say the emotional quotient, the ability in a very um, complex world to get along with others mm -hmm. is going to be very, very critical. What about creativity? Well, creativity, Anthony, can actually be purchased. While it's important for event organizers to recognize the value of creativity, they don't necessarily have to be creative. They can hire creative people, a decorator, a designer, a producer. What they have to do is, again, have the ability to bring all these people together. An example of this is the book called The Work of Nations by Robert Reich. Reich, who was the Secretary of Labor for President Bill Clinton, actually only stands about four feet tall, but he's a giant intellectually. And Reich in this book said, the jobs of the future will go to those who are symbolic analysts. They're the ones who can take all the abstract symbols of the marketplace, human resources, marketing, commodities, technology, etc., and bring them together, link them in meaningful ways. He called these symbolic analysts, where an analyst, one of your future students, can see these abstract symbols and unite them to create something of value for the marketplace. These are the leaders of tomorrow. What do you think hospita hospitality education schools today need to do to prepare students wishing to enter that industry? Well, hospitality schools today need to be thinking like hospitality schools of tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And that means that they need to be doing exactly what HTMI focuses upon, instilling discipline and professionalism and collegiality, but then upskilling all of the students who graduate here with advanced skills in technology, uh, making certain that they have valid and reliable and uh, uh, worthwhile internships and practical training prior to graduation, linking them to the world of work by bringing professionals from industry to the campus to network with their students and sending students to their facilities to network with them. You know, the students at HTMI make such a great impression. I would never, as a faculty member, go meet with a hotelier or the president of a major hotel corporation without a student by my side because your students are the best ambassadors for HTMI and I would argue for the future of the hospitality industry. What about research? What role does research play within the events industry today? Historically, the hospitality industry have been laggards with research. In fact, I'll never forget, I was at a conference years ago <coughs> and they had the presidents of all of the major hotel chains sitting on the stage and I asked the question from the audience, which academic journals do you read? And these four men and one woman all went, we don't read any of them. And when I asked why, they said because they're written in academic jargon and they have no relevance for our day-to-day -day operations. Well, the truth is most hospitality organizations only focus upon today. They're not really focused upon tomorrow. They're thinking about next quarter's earnings, <clears throat> not next year's developments, etc. And so the role that research plays in hospitality is pushing the margins, pushing the horizon for people in industry to begin thinking about some of the forces and trends that are on the horizon and how they can be uh, harnessed 
and perhaps uh, used to create greater wealth for the hospitality industry tomorrow because your students are thinking about them today. That's what we need to do. Begin looking through that long lens of not the microscope, but the kaleidoscope, and seeing how we can make something out of little pieces of fragmented glass and information more beautiful in the future. I want to ask you one last question. Could you please finish the sentence? Mm. You know you're an event manager when? You stand watching in awe and gratitude as people come together for a mutual purpose to promote human understanding and I might suggest love. Joe, it's been fascinating chatting with you. We thank you very much for your time. Thank you, thank Anthony. You.